even if you're not there yet, because we're all slow learners, is to say, God, you are righteous, which means you want a relationship with me. And you were willing to do whatever it took to make that happen. So you sent Jesus to take away my sin so that I can be in relationship with you today. Jesus' act of love turns my heart back to God in such a way that I can love God and love other people because Christ is living in me. I am in God's living room, and because of that, I can do what God is calling me to do. Noah was righteous. Noah knew God because Noah's heart was turned towards the Lord. Noah was not righteous because he followed all of God's commands. He followed God's commands because of what was in his heart. We, like Noah, can be righteous and know God when our heart is turned towards him. If our heart is turned toward the Lord, then we will be able to follow every word every direction that he gives to us. And the Spirit will turn our hearts towards God when we love God because he has sent Jesus Christ as our sacrifice, when we love God for giving us new life in Christ, for giving us these things when we deserved a flood. Christ took the judgment intended for us so that we could live a new life with God. And Lord, we are thankful for all that you have done, all that you continue to do for us, all that you will do for us in the future. God, it is depressing to think about the wages of sin. And we thank you that you have taken those wages away from us and have replaced it with the free gift through the life of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for the lessons that we can learn from the story of Noah about righteous, about what it means to be righteous, how we can be righteous in our generation. But Lord, it doesn't start by us trying to do the right things. It starts with us saying, God, I trust you and I love you for what you've done for me. It starts with asking you, Lord, to put the blinders on us so that we focus our attention and our eyes on you and you alone, so that you become the one that we want to imitate and and, and become like you. Lord, we pray that you would help us to block out these things around us that, that tempt us, that entice us, that infiltrate our hearts and our souls even when we don't realize what's going on. But Lord, today, we are so thankful that you invite us into your living room, You have declared us forgiven through Jesus Christ. Because of that, Lord, you just want us to be with you, to give you our heart. And when we do that, we have the promise that new life, new fruit will start to appear in us. Lord, help us to receive this gift of grace and mercy that you have shown us. Help us to receive it daily so that we see more of your character in us all of the time. And Lord, we pray these things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
For our sending words today, I'm going to ask us to say the Lord's Prayer together. And when we say it, we're going to use debts and debtors when we get to that point. And then once we have prayed, please give me a second to book it out the back so I can greet you as you come out. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Are you dismissed?